um, Senate Bill 1164, which had to do with um, concealed carry licensees being able to go onto college campuses and into, into buildings on those campuses, uh, passed the Senate and went to the House. It got out of the committee in the House. It got out of Calendar's committee and was actually scheduled for a vote before um, a slowdown, an intentional slowdown, was uh, uh, engineered by some Democrats that didn't want to have to vote on voter ID. So um, the the House of Representatives never got far enough down on the calendar to vote on the bill. So time ran out, and that bill unfortunately died. I'm confident, had it been voted on by the full House of Representatives, it would have passed. Uh, Representative Driver, who was the House sponsor of the bill, uh, had about half the House, literally half the House, with signatures on the face of the bill as co-authors. So uh, it's very disappointing that it got that close, uh, but didn't quite make it. Mm-hmm. And when you say the Democrats didn't want to vote because of they would have been identified, if they would have voted in favor of it? No, what what they were objecting to was the vote on people having to show identification when they cast a vote at the polling place. That they didn't like that bill. They weren't they weren't delaying a vote on this bill. They were vo- delaying a vote on the voter ID bill, um, which uh, they successfully did. They never got to that bill either. But a whole lot of bills further down the calendar after voter ID uh, were never voted on either. So scores of bills uh, died on the calendar that had gone through the committee process passed out of the Senate, gone through the committee process in the House, were on the calendar to be voted on, but were never voted on by the House representatives because what normally takes about two hours was strung out to take up four or five days, and they killed a lot of bills that way. And this is just a question that I'm going to ask you uh, off the top of my head. The voter ID thing, that, that you, the bill that you're discussing, uh, is, is this because, especially in Texas, a lot of illegal immigrants uh, are able to somehow get a vote in without showing ID at the polls? The concern is that there are people who are casting votes in Texas that shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you required a government-issued photo ID and really require a photograph, uh, it was either a government-issued photograph identification card, like a driver's license, or in the alternative, two pieces of mail as I said, addressed to you with your name and your address that are in the voting precinct where you're trying to vote. Mm-hmm. Well, and that Democrats didn't want to vote on that. Mm-hmm. And you can obviously see why. Um, okay, so as it stands, this our our bill was uh, actually just we never got to it. So where does that leave us now for the next session? Well, the next regular session begins in January of 2011. And um, I, I don't believe anything much will happen between now and then. It's, it's theoretically possible for the governor to call a special session and include that issue in the call for a special session. Uh, whether he will do that or not, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Okay, Senator. Well, I really appreciate your time. Okay. And Glad thanks for it. clarifying that. And uh, that's, yeah. that stinks that we didn't get to it this session. Yep. I agree. We'll have to we'll have to knock it out next time. We'll try. But uh, we need to we need to take the bull by the horns and, and be a leader and be the first state to allow that so that other states can follow and, and have their students protected. Well hopefully by twenty eleven we won't be the first state. Hopefully some other state will have done it before it gets to us. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay. Thank All you right. very much. Take care. You bet.